Hello, in this video, I want to demonstrate how you can use your Docker file uh, to bundle up your or create your Docker image. What is the purpose of Docker image? Actually, Docker image enables you to reduce your iterative administrative efforts. Just imagine you have 10 environments and you need to do 10 steps every time when you want to set up a single environment. That means you want to do the 100 steps in order to set up the 10 environments. That is a huge administrative effort. Docker enables you to reduce that effort by creating your Docker images. Docker images enables you to bundle up your all so required software into one Docker image and then you can use that Docker image to spin up hundreds and thousands of your environment. Okay, uh, so how Docker? Works. Docker daemon actually uh, uses a uh, file called docker file that file consists all the steps which need to uh, which you want to run to set up your environment just imagine you have an application that requires CentOS 6 and under that CentOS 6 you need to install MySQL 5.7 this is for our cases so in our case we are going to use from the base image which is CentOS 6. If you need to install or set up uh, any other version like CentOS 7, CentOS 8, CentOS 5 point other version you can define here. So regardless of that uh, we have some other steps like we need to update the, uh, update the repository. So in the second step what we are doing just we are updating our repo. In the next in the very next step we are installing uh, the repository rpm for mysql 5.7 for this we are using the yum local install and the full path of the rpm don't forget to use the minus y otherwise your docker build will break then you need to install a mysql uh, server package uh, we are using community version in the very next step what we are doing we are just starting the MySQL service because MySQL CentOS 6 uses the sysv in it as a service manager so we are using service okay in the next step we are going because during the MySQL start it will generate your temporary password to get the temporary password we are using this command so what we are doing we are uh, tailing our log to grab uh, the temporary password so this temporary password uh, here we are carrying that file so in order to get the temporary file a uh, temporary password uh, in that line we are using just echo command to tell our docker build uh, administrator that you already have a docker uh, MySQL temporary password and we are using this lib function to 10 seconds in the next uh, and the last command which is showing that you have a MySQL version so just build the command in order to build the command we normally use the command in docker build and after that we use the minus t flag and this flag enables you to tag your or give a friendly name of your docker image in our case we are going to give the name as mysql upwards colon 5.7 and that dot means don't go here and there your docker file plays on the current location just hit enter it will start downloading and do the rest of the stuff it will take a while while uh, the docker engine is doing the setup for you and what it does it will download and install all the package in the CentOS 6 base container and bundle up for a, a docker image Uh, this will take a while in installing some prerequisites which coming through the yum update command the base update has been done now it is installing the mysql repository that's already done now the mysql client and the community server edition is going to be installed here that will take a while 
At this stage, you need to be patient because Docker engine is doing the heavy lifting duty. Docker engine has already installed all the required packages. Now it's installing. This Docker file uh, download and install all the required packages for MySQL Server. In the very next step, it will start the MySQL service and initialize the database and generate a temporary password for you. Now the MySQL Server package is going to be installed here. This is it. Your installation has been done. Now, the final touch is being underway. It will take a while. Don't forget, Docker Engine is doing all the rest of the heavy duty for you. Now, MySQL is going to be started. In that start, it will generate your temporary password as well. So don't forget to collect your temporary password. Okay, here is your temporary password. That's it. Your Docker image is ready. If you want to see your Docker image, you can just hit the command Docker images. You can see we have a Docker working version with the name of MySQL Upworks 5.7. This is it. In the next video, I'm going to show you how you can spawn up your Docker container with your newly created images. Thank you.